Hello everybody, welcome back to Big Bags Small Bags. So actually today we are at the Mall Mid Valley South Key that we're going to experience the Orem Theatre, okay? So today's experience um, will be accompanied by this Godzilla times Kong, the new Empire movie. So um, it's actually essentially like a luxurious suite whereby you got a flat um, lay bed. So it's called Getha Lux Suite 1, okay? That's our theatre. And then for two persons, the um, ticket costs 270 ringgit. So let's go and see how luxurious the experience is and how everything goes, okay? Let's go! Alright, so the place that we are in now is actually like the lounge area. So it's a pre-resting like resting area whereby you can order drinks, have a dinner or like supper here. And then it's actually a pretty big area but I don't want to go there because there's people there so I just want to keep it close. And then there's apparently like some karaoke room. So essentially there are actually three suites here, okay? So three of this um, Getha Lux suite, the one that we're going to theater one. So I'm just going to show you guys to the other part of the rest area. So apart from these bar seats, there's also another like karaoke area. So let's check it out. So this is part of the lounge whereby she told me it's a karaoke area. So it's very, very spacious. I think seats wise, you can take up to maybe like 100 person seating here, which is more than the capacity of I think three of the theatre. So it's good. Like, that's why you can actually have like privacy and like each people will have can have their corners to choose from but I feel that like the whole like place is very spacious it looks very modern luxe so it's very comfortable I think it's better than the one that we went in Bangkok the one the Oma's bed I think the area is bigger just that the, the freebies are lesser because the back on you can actually take like drinks and popcorn but this one is all chargeable and you have to pay by a la carte pricing now okay and one interesting that we're going to check out is later is the exclusive um, toilet here. So we're going to check how the toilet is. Um, maybe Margo can bring you guys to um, the boys' toilet, the guys' toilet, and I will do a short review about the girls' toilet, okay? Let's go. Okay, so right, we actually went to the toilet already and I must say that the toilet is pretty luxurious and a bit grand as well. Um, we didn't take video, don't worry, okay, but I took some photos of the toilet. Um, but sorry, yeah, first impression of the female toilet is that it stinks. I don't know why, it's got this bau, like, smelly, smelly smell. But the toilet is nice, it's bidet and then like there's a lot of like, the you can get a warm um like seat kind of thing and then also um there is the dyson hand dryer as well as a lot of like creams and then also essential oil um soap like, which is good and then there's also this um like makeup powder area in the toilet so it's really grand and luxurious but just a bit smelly mm. lah, oh. but i'm not sure about the male's toilet so maybe margo can tell you guys the toilet uh... I, I think the toilet is quite similar to the female one, but I actually I took video. <laughs> the room is quite nice, the soap is, smells quite nice also. It's lavender and orange or something, right? so quite nice. I took a good shit after Mr. Kakaobi, so feeling a lot better. So we are here at like a private space, okay, so this is also part of the um, theatre. I feel that this part is a very nice place to kind of like do a private dining and apart from being a theatre lounge, right, they also serve like normal food. So it's also doubled up as a restaurant. So that's why you've got all these settings and this is a very nice place. And I think these doors can be closed to like do a private place. Uh, I think it's locked lah, so I don't want to spoil the door also. So it's a very nice place as you can see. So we actually ordered um, some drinks, okay, to, uh, before the start of our movie because we still have some time. So we've ordered this um, gin tonic, which is, this is a... Uh, what flavour again? Sorry. Uh, yeah, something at beach. That's what I remember also. So that's why I'm asking for help, but no one remembers. Let me try it, okay. It's very beautifully done. Mmm, after I drink, I still don't know what I'm peach so we'll pull up later, okay? But it's pretty refreshing, yummy, because I like gin drinks, so this is very yummy for me. Delicious. So it's um three gin tonic for 118RM. We've got two more coming up, so we'll show you guys later, but this is very refreshing and yummy. So I've ordered this seafood aglio olio that costs 38 ringgit. Okay, so it comes with um, quite a lot of scallops and then prawn as well as sotong. Then a funny story to share because just now the person was serving me, right? Then she's like, carbonara? I said, no. And then she said, oh, uh, are you, are you, you order, right? I said, yeah. She asked me, did I see carbonara? I said, yeah. She said, oh, sorry, sorry. But I think this one is pretty decent. It's not that like it's not nice, but 
it's um and it's not actually super nice. It's actually above average, I must say. And I think the important part of um agu aglio is that the noodle must be oily lah. I feel, I think this one is quite quite good. And um, they have quite a lot of ingredients like um octopus, like the squid as well as scallop lah. For thirty eight ringgit, I feel it's quite worth it. All right, so we are actually on two out of our uh, third drink, which is this blood orange with grapefruit. Okay, I think. The color is very very nice. The paste though, um, like pink, and I think the taste wise, I've been trying. I can't really taste the grapefruit or like the blood orange. It's but it's very strong or like the gin taste actually, but not much of the the grapefruit and everything. But I prefer the other one just now. The raspberry and peach. We finally got to find out what's that. But this one is just average. I feel. So we actually went to like the main cinema. Area to get like popcorn because they don't have like fresh popcorn here, so I got this set which we can also eat in this cinema because they belong to the same owner. So the place that I got this um next is actually at the main cinema area, which is where they show the IMAX show and everything. So this is actually one level down, so it's not the same place. If you guys are here, you can see and look out for the Orem Theatre sign. Nice, it's pretty obvious, but it's on different level, so just don't be confused. Okay, so this is our last um, gin tonic drink for the night because it's 3, 4, 1, 1, 8. So this is a cucumber and floral one, so let's try it. Mm, the cucumber taste is quite strong eh. I don't like cucumber, so I don't like this drink. But I think it's quite a nice um, like selection of like gin and tonic to order. Lah. So if you are here, you can try. And now we're waiting for the cinema to be ready because it's like well, 15 minutes more to the show and we will show you guys what's inside, okay? It's gonna be, it's gonna be quite dark. Eh, no, actually quite bright. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're really done with the movie and uh, as you can see, I'm really very tired. I almost fell asleep at the theatre. But as you guys have seen in the um, theatre, there's actually two separate beds with um, one like aisle in the middle for drinks and then also they've got like the pull-out tables and everything. So facilities-wise, I think it's uh, pretty well kept and um, luxurious and very comfortable. And then in terms of the food, uh, I would say that the taste is pretty... Below average lah, really below average. Uh, and then it comes with um, one like snack item plus one drink. So we got the canned drink. So I mean drinks, it's canned drinks, so nothing much to say. But the food item, uh, Mago didn't even eat. I don't know if it's too full or he just don't feel like eating the food. But I think that like um, the facilities that they give, the, the amenities, like the, the sleepers, the bedroom sleepers as well as the um, blanket are pretty comfortable. But Honestly, if because I've been to the OMS in Bangkok, I feel that that one is really an edge over this one in terms of like the whole like comfort and everything. Because this one, the bed is like two single beds, so it's not as comfortable as like one queen size bed. And I'm not sure if this Orem um cinema, this theater actually has got like those that is like stuck together one, which I think they have lah. But it's just not in this theater. But I think for this experience, it's okay, but um, for this price point, I would be expecting some more things, la, I would say. But all in all, it was a good experience. We watched um, Godzilla times Kong. It's good to see them working together and not fighting with each other. So yeah, so if you guys have any comments or questions about this theatre, please feel free to leave in the comment section below. Or if you have also visited this um, experience before, let us know what you think. So thank you very much for watching this video on um, the Aurum Theatre and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!